Good evening and welcome to Thai PBS World. Those who believe that having Thanathorn Jung Rung Deung Kit, leader of the Future Forward Party, booted from Parliament, would remove what is considered to be the biggest political nuisance to the Prajit government. Certainly have forgotten the saying that it's wise to keep your enemies close. And even better, if closer than you do, you friends. And now that the firebrand politician is denied a platform in the House, it looks like he has all the liberty to create as much political trouble as he desires. Kun uh, Tanaton, if I could invite you to come up and take your place right now. And in his first major public appearance since being stripped of his MP status by the Constitutional Court last month, Tanathon painted a rather gloomy prospect of Thailand's political future to his foreign audience. I wanted to talk about many things. Speaking at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Thailand Monday night, Tanathon was at his best as a staunchest critic of the military, which he believes is responsible for everything that goes wrong in this country. The future of the Thai politics? In his usual no-holds-barred fashion, Tanathon wanted everyone to believe that Thailand is once again on the verge of another political crisis and went on to describe the current political situation in apocalyptic terms. He talked about what he described as a dangerous gamble being played by Dimitri to pop up his power. He alluded to what he called a tipping point that might trigger an ascent into chaos. He painted the picture of Thailand standing on the edge and predicted the coming of a political storm. Though he stopped short of saying what the tipping point would be, Tanathon referred to legal cases against his future forward party, which he said could culminate next month with the possible dissolution of the party. He alleged that there have been systematic efforts to cut short the rise of his party. We can see it clearly that the attempt to stop us is real. We can see it clearly that the effort to dissolve our party is real, is tangible. And the ruling to dissolve our political party, according to some source, might be as early as mid of December, before the festive season arrives. Tanathon said Dimitri is playing what he called a dangerous gamble by believing that it can hang on to power without listening to people's call for democracy and by sidelining political parties like his. Tanathon, a maverick young politician who is a strong critic of Prime Minister Prajut and Dimitri, has been disqualified as an MP by the Constitutional Court, which last month found him guilty of violating the constitution by still holding shares in his family-owned media company while registering to run in the March election. Last week, he quit the House Budget Scrutiny Committee, claiming that there are people who do not want him to have a role in the parliament. He did not say who these people are. They are pushing people out. Nobody knows what could happen when people lost faith in the parliament, when there is no hope left, when there is no possibility to win power peacefully, peacefully, nobody knows what's going to happen. The establishment, the junta, they, seems, they seem certain that they could contain it, that they could control it, but many think otherwise. Many I talked to are not convinced. I think this is a very dangerous gamble. Tanathon suggested that all that is needed is a tipping point for the country to slip into chaos, like what happened recently in Chile, when an increase in subway fare sparked a violent anti-government demonstration. We don't know what will be the tipping point here. What we do know is this. We do know that the tension is rising. This is tangible. This is known. We do know that the storm might be coming. 
He then listed a number of events that he said brought ill for the government. He said members of the so-called Assembly of the Poor, a collection of several disgruntled grassroots civic groups, have been rallying in Bangkok. And soon to join them will be people in the fishing industry who are suffering from the tough government measures to regulate fishing. In January, and on January 12, he said, a running event entitled Ran Lung Tu Out will be held in Bangkok by a group of student activists who have been waging a campaign against Prime Minister Prayut. The title is a play on words, meaning getting rid of Uncle Tu, which is Prayut's nickname. Nobody knows what could happen when people lost faith in the parliament, when there is no hope left, when there is no possibility to win power peacefully, peacefully. Nobody knows what's going to happen. Thanaton also claimed that the powers that be are using fake news and disinformation to discredit him and the opposition, accusing him of being disloyal to the country and being anti-monarchy. He also challenges the Constitutional Court over his ruling that disqualify him as an MP and dismissed all the legal cases against him and his party as part of a political persecution orchestrated by the military. Thanaton's critics have alleged that, after seeing his political career being cut short, Thanaton is now engaging himself in a campaign to mobilize mass protests against the budget government. We can be sure that his appearance at the Foreign Correspondents Club of Thailand on Monday was only the opening shot in the aftermath of his political disqualification. And we can certainly expect more from Tanaton as other legal cases are building up against him. And that's all for Thai People's World tonight. Thank you for watching.